Anyways, that's probably all over the place. But so I was just thinking about like the whole thing about like just self help. I've always been a self help kind of person. I want to learn how to make candles. I go ahead and learn how to make candles. I want to make this. I go ahead and make that. You know, I you know I need to know how to make myself feel better. I need you know I I need to be just in case. <clears throat> and I think that sometimes when you're when you're somewhat of a loner in that sense, you attract certain people that need a certain type of healing. And, you know, if you think about like so many people are going to see somebody and and a lot of people end up on some kind of meds or something or with some kind of misdiagnosis or, you know, things things like that. When it, it just feels like people should just be learning how to treat people better so that I mean, I know it sounds easier said than done. So that, you know, they won't have to be dealing with so much trauma and, and, and abuse. And I'm saying from like a genuine place, not a place where there's people that come around and then they want to go ahead and start, they want to take what's going on in your life and then make something else out of it or turn it into something that, <clears throat> uh, turn it into something negative by uh, gossiping or, you know, gossiping. Gop gossiping about somebody's business or things like this you know so I, I feel like you know if anything to change or help somebody you don't go in and you know try to dig up dirt on them to exploit them you would I mean how, how about just address that person with what you think the issue is so that that person can probably see what they could work on or possibly something that they could heal from but I, I just think that they're this whole healing thing it's is overrated because everything that's happened to me I feel like has molded me into the person that I am and I feel like I'm a pretty good person and I feel like nobody can ever take that away from me at the end of the day like an awesome individual <laughs> and and nobody can take that away Nobody's gonna be even able to chip away. You might, you might say something, it might smite me for a second, cause I'm like, yeah, that shit true. Okay, that is. All right, okay, okay. It might be like, ooh, that hurt. I, you know, I ain't even want you to say it. Or, um, damn, where it's coming from. Uh, but at the end of the day, if it is what it is, then it is. I'm all right with constructive criticism. No matter who it's coming from. It could be my worst enemy. <laughs> if I had some, I mean, I probably do. And I probably just don't know. But. It's also like. <clears throat> so I think throughout my life, I've, like I said, I've had people gravitate towards me. That, again. May bring something physical to the platform. But I feel like. I'm someone that brings something deeper, something to the soul, right? Kind of like soul food. <clears throat> and again, people may not look at me in that light, but that's the way I look at myself. And ain't nobody going to be able to change the way I view myself through the relationships, especially I have with my grandma. are just like worried about what other people you know what I'm saying are doing the fact I, I keep to myself and I and I respect other people's space I respect other people's space <laughs> so <clears throat> it's something that's to that when it comes to the way I view the world with all this monitoring and all this other stuff it's just like what the hell are you looking for and if I'm not if I'm an individual that that's much of a, a problem or or not worth the time then why so much time you see like this is what I'm saying I'm just looking at things and from a different perspective and people might look at it like oh you trying to say that your shit don't stink no 
No, it just it smelled like everybody else's I hope. But my profession is working on myself, not even working on other people. I, I can share my journey with you, and if you find it interesting, then it's so be. If not, hey. As long as I know I'm taking the time with myself, even if it's a damn lifetime. To nurture myself and care for myself because I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, ain't nobody gonna do it. Your children can't do it for you, your mama can't do it for you. A, a partner or a spouse, a friend can't do it for you. I mean, I don't know. I think that's why I'm just a DIY type of motherfucker. That's just me. That's just me. I don't like no business. Par I'm, I'm going to be a sole proprietor. I don't like no business par partners, no, none of that shit. I ain't going to say I can't grow into it, but I just got to be me. If I can't be me, then I can't be there. And most of the time, unless you're an entrepreneur, to be successful, there's always going to be somebody else in control. And that's not to say that I don't need anybody because, again, sometimes I can be kind of, like, just too chill and too, like, artsy or, you know, uh, creative with the way I think or whatever. But just open, you know, and just want to experience things when it comes to f the way I'm feeling and seeing and thinking. Because I don't know. It's just like the physical is just like, I don't know, except for my body. You know, the physical is just, like, not even entertaining to me anymore. Like, the heights that I'm trying to reach have something to do with, I don't know, some kind of spiritual connection. And I think it takes time, you know, and I'm learning that it takes movement, energy, currency, frequency. <laughs> Change, you know, but if there's one thing I can control, I'm, I'm guessing that's what's going on within me. I can't even really control all the energy that's around me. That's why I like to just go within <laughs> maybe a little bit too much it ain't never really this person got or that person you know what I'm saying it's it's not unless it was unless it's something that again I felt like it's mine in the first place then I'm I'm, I'm gonna have to fight for it cause again I don't want nothing but what's due to me period and if you're not here to give it to me, then you're not here to show me how to get it, or you're not going to give me an inkling on where I'm supposed to be going, then why are you in my space? Because I'm, I'm not the type of person that wants anybody to take care of anything fully for me. Except for my, if you my husband, then it's my bills. <laughs> and I realized that one day, I may have to do that for myself. And that's fine. It's scary, but it'll be what it's going to be. Or if it's my husband or my mate or whatever, I would feel like there are certain things that 
again in order to nourish 